10 7 11 wonderlick drive is sold so how did we get this done and how did the strategy that we use apply to you when the time comes to sell now this home is a perfect example of why i recommend making modest improvements to your home prior to selling this home it's in a great cupertino neighborhood it has excellent schools it's on a large corner lot but it needed a full remodel and the typical move in this neighborhood is buying fixer uppers and either gutting them to do a full remodel or tearing them down entirely and building new construction. So the question always is, why put money into a home that you would expect that this would be the case? Because number one, it increases the pool of potential buyers from just investors or those willing to do a lot of work to those who may now see the home as closer to move in ready. More buyers means more offers, means generally a higher price. Number two, it allows for the presentation of the home, both in the photos and the in-person showings, to be much more appealing. And just that feeling of a home being brighter and better brings a higher price. Now, much of simple home prep is not so much about adding selling features as it is about removing barriers and negative aspects of what buyers would otherwise focus on. Now, before we went on the market, we got an offer, an off-market offer for 1.9. And then I spoke with other buyers, I spoke with other agents to see if someone would be willing to pay a higher price. And at the time, with the house in its current condition, they weren't. So we decided, let's take the following steps and then go on the market. Number one, declutter. I found an excellent business that for an hourly fee will clear out anything you ask. We put blue tape on what stayed, everything else got cleared out. They donate many items, uh, they recycle what they can, and any unusable items get taken to the dump. Decluttering is the single most important thing that you can do when selling your home. Second, we painted. We fully painted the interior to create a bright and clean feeling that transformed the home and the way it felt. Instead of people coming in and focusing on you know, peeling wallpaper, banged up doors and baseboards, they saw a clean, fresh home. Yes. It still needs a full remodel, but it doesn't feel as much that way with a fresh coat of paint. Number three, cleaning. Having a home professionally clean where the bathroom sparkled, the dust is removed, the carpets look fresh, it helps so much with the presentation and creates a more comfortable feeling walking through the house. And after cleaning, then we're prepped for the final step, for staging. Now, does the furniture stay with the home? No but it shows how the space could be used. Uh, it makes a room sometimes feel larger than it is or more proportional. It allows the home to look great in both the photos and the video. And this all results in more exposure and a higher price. So how much did we spend? We spent 4,600 to clear out the home. We spent 7,500 on painting, 550 on the cleaning, 3,600 for staging. The results, we went from a $1.9 million offer to six offers, and there were going to be two more. They decided not to write because of so much competition, so we would have had eight. Um, but we accepted an offer at $2,250,000. So we spent just over sixteen dollars to gain $325,000 in price. Now, a person writing an offer that would have been for them to just move in, for them to be more than for themselves, we may have been able to get over 1.9 in its original condition, but like how much more, like 100K? Either way, it was an incredible return on investment. Now, every seller situation is different. Not everyone is going to have be in a position to make the home improvements that we made, but anyone can declutter. And if you're willing and able to take these additional steps, you're going to get a higher price. Now, if you're thinking about selling and you want to discuss strategy, reach out to me. Let's set up a time to meet.